YouTube, it's your boy Fish and Ken, Hook City TV, and let me tell you something, man. These crappie are in the creeks. I'm about to prove it to you. So if you wanna see a crappie fishing video in the creek during the spring, not pre-spawn, spawn. It is time, y'all. Males are starting to color up and it's going down. I'm about to grab my rod. You grab a seat, go get you something to drink. And let's see if we can stay away from the dinks. Let's go, baby. Guys, y'all know when I'm out here in the creek, it's only one rod that I choose to go with, man. People got their reasons and I got mine, but let me tell you something. I'm trying to put a crappie on the line. And if I do it, I'm gonna do it with the ACC. Crappie stick, man, this is a 12 footer, man. It's light, it's nimble, but it's tough. And let me tell you something, man, we're gonna be dragging fish out of all kinds of stuff right now, man. Listen, we're gonna be using the uh, Power Pro braided line with the Daiwa Reel 1000 series. I don't want anything too heavy because again, I want to keep good balance on this already well-balanced ACC crappie stick. So we're using a smaller reel. Um, again, 10 pound Power Pro line. Listen, man, bait of choice, man. We're going with a high vis orange and chartreuse. Um, and that is a brush pile jigs bait, y'all. I'm also using a tungsten jig head, so if any of these fish start running, I can drop on them quick while maintaining a small profile. We're doing that with the Euro Tackle tungsten jig heads. Get you some. Brush pile jigs, get you some. Listen, and if you ain't a fool and you want to feel cool, you better get that ACC crappie stick, baby. Let's go. Guys, we're in this creek today. 57 degree water temps. And let me tell you something, that is warm enough for what we're trying to do. Look, I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. There's fish in this creek, y'all. Both males and females, I believe. But I keep seeing them, I keep seeing them. Some of them high, some of them low. We're only in six foot of water, y'all. And crappie are everywhere. There's only one reason crappie are gonna be in this shallow of a water this time of year. Man, it's on, y'all. It's on. Oh, there's one. Now, I want y'all to notice, y'all, what I just stuck into. I stuck into this little bitty tree that's hanging over in the water. That's not two and a half foot deep right there. Now, one thing about it that is... Oh man, that's probably a right at 10. It's probably a little little male trying to get in there ahead of time before all the big boys come in to make their beds. But listen, that fish was sitting right there. And if the males are on the outside, the females are gonna be out here. We're gonna keep working. I'm gonna show you guys something, man. As you see, we're in 5.4, 5.3, 12 foot out away from the boat. Look what I'm seeing, guys. Don't think that these fish haven't went shallow yet. 57 degree water temperatures, it is sunny, it is bright. Air temperature is supposed to be in the 80s today, and it's been that way for a few days now. That's got those fish on the move. We're at the end of February, going into March. The days are getting longer, which I think really means something to these fish. It's one of those things that we know is consistent. The days get longer as we get further into the year. So we're getting into March, Instead of it getting dark in um, 5 o'clock, 5.30, we now got about another hour. It gets dark at about 6.30 now. So that's one of those things that we're looking at, man. We got length of days um, and our water is getting warmer, guys. Those are the two things that I believe is going to help these fish get in the spawning mood. Um, let's see if we can get one. All right, guys, we're approaching a fish at 10 foot right near the bank. Not really far down. Let's see how aggressive he is. See what we got. Mmm, just like that, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. I mean, he acting a fool, too. Come on up here. That's a good male. I can tell. I can tell that's a male, y'all. So this fish is bleached out because the water is dingy and cold still. Like I said, we're at 57 degrees, but if you look, this fish, See if I can get you. This fish has like a, a black hue to him. And then if you look, 
He's got little black blotches all over him. His anal fin is dark, his tail is dark. That fish, when I put him in the live well, will turn black, guaranteed. Again, you can see you can see it here. You see these little black blotches everywhere, man. That is a male fish that's sitting right off the bank in this creek. That's a good eating fish right there, man. Y'all stay tuned, we got more to come. Oh, that fish, that fish. I mean, them males acting a fool, y'all. Them males acting a fool. Tell you what, this time of year, these fish, man, these males, they get hormonal. They get angry, and they wreck. Look at that black just coming in on his fins. Look at that on his fins. These are male fish, man. But I know these females are somewhere around here too. They're probably sitting on the bottom in the middle of this creek or they're held up in a hole somewhere. It's another good fish, y'all. All right, guys, I just talked about how possibly some of these fish could be sitting in the middle. I'm approaching a fish right now. Ooh, let's see what he's gonna do. Get off that trolling motor for a second. Just glide. Oh, he went the other way. That's exactly what I was talking about. Oh, did you see that? That fish took off like a scalded dog. Another male fish. Another male fish. Thank you, Lord. Big fish. That's gonna be a big girl. That's gonna be a big girl there. Ooh, brush pile jig, brush pile jig. Yo. Guys, I literally just told y'all a few scenes ago that if the males are gonna be up against the bank, a lot of them were small, that I could get to the middle of this creek. And you saw it got real tight. There was a hole in this creek. I've been about four or five foot deep. I got into about eight to nine foot. I looked in the middle of the creek and that's what I found. The big girls are here, y'all. The males are here. You need to get to the creek and you need to get to it now, man. It is going on. Comment section, y'all know what I like to say when I catch one of these. Hee-haw. Took me a while, guys, but that's another female. Ooh. Now see, her anal fin's still white. You don't have a whole lot of blacking on the tail. And we got the big belly. It's another female fish. In the middle, on the bottom. Goodness, I can't explain it no better than that. Of the creek. 
He ain't even got a snake. Or them fish in there. Another female, look at the belly. Again, all white, anal fins. Gets no better, y'all. There's another one right there. This one's way high up in the column. Wouldn't surprise me if that was a male. I'm in another hole. Found another hole. I'm in nine foot now. Definitely in another hole in nine foot now. So we got, I got a, got a big girl laying on the bottom. I'm trying to find a few of these big females. We know the males are on the bank. See if we can find some of these big females because they got to come in here. It takes two to tango, y'all. There's another one. I think we're dealing with another female fish for sure, just not a big one. Look at that pregnant belly. That pregnant belly, man. That's definitely another female. Oh, we're taking candy from a baby at this point, y'all. 